Well, I, I think so. I think the biggest story behind our DJ booth was just talking to the players. I mean, we, we, we went to the players and said, hey, what can we do to make the experience better, whether it's in the locker room? There's so much downtime that maybe you guys don't realize in, in preseason camp when school's not going on. You know, and they got to be over there for two and three hours, and you might take a 30-minute break between meetings. And, you know, what do you have to do to get your mind off of it? And certainly thought that there's a lot of things out there in college football right now. But for our guys, we said, what would you want? And that's what some of them talked about. And it actually has been great. You know, a lot of our guys are interested in music. And when you talk about making music and doing things, it, it actually gets them entertained and digitally. I couldn't tell you the first thing about that thing. I couldn't tell you how to operate it. I can just tell you that they like it and they enjoy it. Are there other things coming? The tweet said excited about some other things coming. I would say the uh, remodeling of the locker room was a uh, good thing for us. It was more of a facelift than it was any structural. You know, we didn't move anything structurally. It was just um, a little bit of change in the face of the locker room, some of the wallpapering and some of the memorabilia in there, and opened up some space, but not uh, anything added on. But that, that was all done in one clean swoop, so it's done. It's nothing coming new from that. When you 